Tyler of Awan Meteorologist Grant Smith here with the National Weather Service here in Juneau, Alaska with a weather update uh, forecast discussion, you could call this. Uh, we've got some weather on the way, so let's go ahead and let's just talk about it here. So for starters, just to give you an overview of the timing, we'll uh, start with the five-day outlook. Uh, really, the, we're focusing on the middle of the week. Uh, low pressure system moving in. Yes, it is an ex-typhoon, but for our intents and purposes, it's basically just a normal low pressure system moving through the Gulf. It's going to bring in some moderate to heavy rain uh, and some strong winds uh, to parts of the panhandle. It just happens to be an ex-typhoon that's moving in. And it's going to affect uh, the, uh, the, the panhandle in the middle of the week. And once we get into Friday and beyond, a little pressure. Uh, we'll move on out and we'll just go back into kind of a normal uh, pattern here for Southeast. So what are we going to talk about on this weather briefing? Uh, talk about the headlines. We have a high wind watch that we issued. I'm talking about the forecast discussion uh, as it sits. What's the most likely scenario at this time? And then we'll talk about some of the details in the works. Uh, so, you know, there is some a little bit of uncertainty. So we'll talk about that. And then the possible impacts uh, for uh, any, any, any scenario that we're looking at. So for starters, the high wind watch this is for uh, the uh, southern panhandle. So the Prince of Wales Island area, Ketchikan, Metlakatla, just that southern area of uh, southeast Alaska. This goes into effect Tuesday morning uh, through late Tuesday night. Uh, for southeast winds of 20 to 30 miles per hour with gusts up to 60 miles per hour. And what we're concerned with here is, uh, and I'm just going to read right from the statement here, uh, while confidence on the track and strength of the low is growing, there is still some uncertainty. That's why this is a watch uh, for now. Uh, probability of gusts, wind gusts, greater than or equal to 60 miles per hour are greatest through the southern inner channels at about 60 to 70 percent likelihood. And so that's why we have a watch issued for these areas, because as of now, looking at the data, a uh, pretty good chance, 60 to 70 percent of seeing wind gusts uh, at or greater than 60 miles per hour. Now, if you're not in these areas, it doesn't mean you're not going to see strong wind gusts. In fact, areas like Cake, uh, Petersburg, Wrangell, uh, Sitka, maybe a little bit into Juneau, Gustavus, Huna, uh, could see some strong wind gusts, uh, but just not quite to this uh, level, maybe more about 30 to 40 miles per hour as this low uh, moves through the Gulf. So, if you're not in this area, still can expect to see some wind gusts, but nothing quite like the 60 mile per hour winds uh, that we are uh, cautiously looking at for these areas. So let's talk about the forecast here uh, going forward. And a uh, lot is on this scene here, so we'll, we'll take it through step by step. First of all, the loop here on the right side of the screen. I have the lows kind of showing you where the track of what it goes uh, as it moves through the Gulf. And then the loop is a loop from Tuesday morning through Friday morning. So this is kind of a long-winded event. The stars on uh, the, the far uh, right side of the screen there, that's to help you get your bearings. Uh, so like this far southern one is Ketchikan, and you got Petersburg, Wrangell, Sitka, Juneau, uh, Skagway, Haines. Over here, where the low is projected to go is the Yakutat area. And then over here is uh, Anchorage. So that's to help you get your bearings of what we're looking at. Uh, and uh, so as this remnants of this typhoon uh, move through, uh, gale force winds are, uh, are expected. Pretty, pretty good confidence there. Uh, greater than 70% chance of seeing uh, sustained winds of 35 knots in the southeast gulf. So uh, just kind of right here in this region, right near just Prince of Wales Island. So in the marine areas right along here, is where we could see those wind gusts uh, of 35 to 40 knots or sustained winds of 35 to 40 knots. And in the inner channels, as that low moves to the north, we're expecting 20 to 30 knots in some of the southern inner channels. Farther north, um, they get, you get to about 10 to 20 knots expected. And then uh, those 60 mile per hour wind gusts possible uh, in the southern panhandle as well, as this low uh, tracks from uh, south to north uh, through the Gulf. Also, heavy rain, uh, moderate to heavy rain expected beginning Tuesday. As of now, um, you know, Tuesday, Wednesday, a little bit into Thursday, kind of rainfall rates and amounts, at about one to two inches for 24-hour amounts is kind of a, a safe bet, you could uh, say. Uh, but there is possibilities uh, for some two to three-inch amounts in some of the areas that get the heavier rain or the heaviest rain. Uh, so while one to two per 24 hours is kind of a safe bet, there is a possibility of getting a little bit more. Uh, but all that still just means and that there's that potential for uh, uh, flooding, you know, rivers to rise, things like that, which we'll keep an eye on and keep working with the River Forecast Center uh, with that part of the forecast. So that's kind of how it sits, what we're thinking. Uh, but as far as the details that are still in the works, 
Uh, the, the the track of the low is the main thing we're mostly concerned about. Uh, if, if the forecast of the low shifts to the east, uh, that will allow for the pressure gradient to tighten a little bit more, and that could increase the wind speeds. And so the, the high wind watch that we have may need to be expanded, and maybe the gust might need to be increased. Uh, and that's if the track shifts to the east. Also, the gales that are out there, um, you know, so we have got seas pushing, uh, you know, 10 to 15, 20 feet. If that shifts to the east, all of those variables will need to be increased. Then the opposite is true. If it shifts to the west, well, the winds will lighten up because the pressure grader won't be quite as tight. Uh, the seas, those heavy, those higher seas will be farther out into the Gulf. And so those are the things we'll be keeping an eye on over the next uh, 24 to 48 hours is will that track stay steady? And right now it's looking like to move uh, you know, through the eastern Gulf and then uh, make landfall, basically just weaken and move into land uh, uh, just west of Yakutat. And so that's kind of what, we're, what we pass on to each forecaster. And if that begins to shift to the east or to the west, we'll make those changes as needed. But for now, this is kind of what we're uh, mostly focusing on. Uh, and so either way you look at, it, uh, the impacts of this low, uh, the strong winds could knock down trees and power lines, which is normal for any low that moves through that has these strong winds uh, that we're seeing. Strongest winds in the south, but still those 30 to 40 mile per hour wind gusts in the north could still uh, you know, have uh, some impacts there. And then also the, uh, the moderate to heavy rain uh, that moves through. Yeah, rivers have been responding the last few lows that have been moving through. And so expecting the same thing here, that the rivers will, uh, will likely rise uh, with the rainfall amounts that we are keeping an eye on. But as I mentioned, a lot of these pieces are still getting put, uh, put together. So we'll keep working with the river River Forecast Center and what they're seeing, and we'll keep working together on potential, you know, uh, the, the the rainfall amounts, and see if that will impact any of the rivers, and we'll issue any watches or advisories if needed, if the forecast leads us into that way. Also, stay tuned uh, with the, the the high wind watch. We'll see if that needs to be updated to a warning, or if we can just cancel it all together. You know, if the track shifts to the west, um, then also afterward, when the low moves on, very cold air is moving in. So if you are a fan of winter and colder weather. Uh, be on the lookout for that as that's coming, uh, well, looking like it's coming uh, next weekend. And so for now, uh, get the latest weather forecast details on weather.gov slash Juno. Uh, I'm meteorologist Grant Smith. Thanks for watching.